a new study shows that investors gamed the system. The treasurer and her team say a legal loophole drained $280 million from schools, parks, police, and other agencies. The hardest hit areas are in the south suburbs. This is so egregious and it jumps off the page in such a loud manner. It's like cymbals clanging over a trumpet playing in a band. It's that bad. Cook County Treasurer Maria Pappas and her team want to stop investors from taking advantage of an Illinois law that she says is draining tens of millions of dollars every year away from minority communities. Here's how it works. If a property owner is delinquent on their property taxes, investors can buy those taxes so the county gets paid. The property owner pays back the investor plus interest. But if the owner doesn't pay back, the investor ends up getting the property. According to the treasurer's study, about 1,600 times a year, investors use a loophole in the law known as sale and error, which allows them to get out of buying those homes, many of them vacant and unwanted. The investor then gets a full refund on those taxes, plus up to 36% interest back. That's quite a deal for them. It's a great deal for them. I mean, this is one of the best investments that you could make, which is why hedge funds are so closely looking at Cook County and its tax sale. And that money, which goes back into the pockets of investors, the treasurer says is oftentimes taken away from communities in need. The interest money gets siphoned away from the governments and it's money that's used for police, fire protection, schools. All gone. All gone. Here's an example in the study. An investor paid the delinquent property taxes on this vacant Harvey home. In this case, the assessor's website incorrectly stated the home did not have an attic. The investor used that mistake to challenge the tax purchase and earned more than $17,000 in interest. That money eventually comes from the property owners in Harvey. They have to pay that money back and it sends Harvey's finances into disarray. According to the treasurer's study, in the last seven years, Harvey has lost $14 million in all because of the sale and error loophole. Chicago, $85 million. And the hardest hit municipality after Chicago is Calumet City with $16 million. The total amount these investors drained from Chicago and Cook County's south suburbs, nearly $280 million. The treasurer's office work on this has exposed a real fatal flaw in a policy in Illinois that doesn't exist in other states. Over time, you know, that will increase the property tax bills for folks to make up for this difference because now your, your local municipality, your school district has got to make up that differential somehow. The study also found that other county agencies, including the treasurer's office, made mistakes allowing investors to take advantage of the sale in error law. Ruby Sherrill State Representative Cam Buckner told the I team late today that House Democrats are reviewing the study and considering legislative solutions. So maybe there will be some change because of the study and our report. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.